Welcome to Essential Think. Being in a positive and healthy relationship can have an amazing and beneficial effect on your life and well-being. However, if you happen to be in a bad relationship, your health can seriously suffer and it's very important to prevent that from happening. That's why this video will show you 5 warning signs your relationship is bad for your health. Let's jump right in. Two people that fit well together and share deep moments and love every day can empower each other and boost each other's happiness, as well as mental and physical health. Unfortunately, if the tables are turned and your relationship becomes dysfunctional and draining, your health might also be at risk. One of the additional risky aspects of such situation is the fact that we often don't notice the damage that's being done before it's too late. We become so absorbed by our relationship that we disregard our mental and physical state and the things that might be causing us harm. Right now you must be wondering, but how do I know if I'm in a situation like that? Let's take a look at some of the most significant warning signs your relationship is bad for your health. In addition, you'll also get some tips and pointers on what to do if you find yourself in a situation like this. Sign number one. You feel like your freedom is restricted. Every relationship needs two people in order to work. Although this is an obvious conclusion, many people seem to forget this and try to supervise and manipulate their partner. It's not uncommon for one partner to be controlling and tell the other one how to behave, what to wear and simply take over the entire decision-making process. This is an obvious sign of an unhealthy relationship. Whatever the motive may be, the person you're with should never control your life or demand from you to behave in a certain way. You need to have your freedom and be yourself, behave the way you see fit and make your own decisions. For some of us, the first impulse in such a situation would be to break up and move away from such a person, which seems logical. Why should anyone spend time in a relationship where their freedoms are restricted and their every move is controlled? One of the ways in which people manage to stay in such relationships is the fact that they are not fully aware of things that are happening. Controlling behavior can often be interpreted as a sign that someone is being protective of you or that their jealousy is a sign of true love. Nonetheless, this is usually not the case and you need to talk to your partner. If your partner's intentions are true and they really love you, your concerns and the way you feel will make them change their behavior and improve, which can eventually save your relationship. If not, then it's probably best for you to remove yourself from such a manipulative environment before it takes a toll on your mental health. Sign number two. Everything is your fault. We're all human and we all make mistakes. Taking responsibility for our actions should be a normal thing, especially if we know we've done something wrong. Accepting criticism from our partner for the mistakes we've made is a reasonable thing to do, unless the accusations aimed at you are unfounded and unjustified. If you notice that your partner blames you for almost everything that goes wrong in your relationship, you should be concerned, especially if these accusations are accompanied with bad temper and anger, which can potentially affect your physical safety. If your partner uses every opportunity to put the blame on you and consequently pour out their outrage, you need to recognize that they are not good for you and that your relationship is unhealthy. This means that you should remove yourself from such a person as soon as possible. Unfortunately, a lot of people remain in a toxic relationship even after they experience all the verbal and physical abuse. No one deserves such a treatment from their partner and you need to comprehend that such behavior is not normal under any circumstances, nor should it be excused. Even supposing you've never had the misfortune to be exposed to physical abuse, your mental health is paying an enormous price when you constantly worry that you've done something wrong. Anytime something bad happens in your relationship, your natural reflex is to become defensive and back up, expecting all the blame to be directed at you. This is an extremely unhealthy situation and you should seriously consider getting out of such a relationship before things become worse. Sign number three. You bring out the worst out of each other. In a healthy relationship, you and your partner should inspire the best attributes in one another. People you care about can motivate you to become more productive, eat healthy or get rid of your bad habits. A successful relationship has the power to bring out the best in you. On the other hand, the opposite is true as well. An unhealthy relationship can and will bring out the worst in both of you. This often manifests in increased substance abuse. Doing drugs or drowning your problems in alcohol can quickly become a dominant part of your relationship. 
On a psychological level, you correlate these unhealthy habits with your partner and your relationship, and this is obviously not good for your mental and physical health. There are some cases where both partners fall into the loop of following bad habits together, even though they still care for each other. In such a situation, one of you needs to reach out to a friend or a family member or a therapist and find professional help. There are many options out there, and you can even get into therapy or rehab together as a couple. However, if your problem is of another nature and you feel forced to use alcohol or drugs to get through the day and alleviate your problems, then it's probably safe to say that you have no reason to stay in such a relationship, because your health is your priority. Sign number 4. The trust is gone. In a good, healthy relationship, trusting your partner is a common thing. The absence of trust is usually one of the first signs of downfall of any relationship, and it can seriously affect your psychological well-being. Trust issues make you question everything, cross-examine your partner's behavior, and imagine some of the worst scenarios that could happen. This state of mind can quickly lead to anxiety, unless it is your anxiety that is causing you to be suspicious in the first place. Being anxious can make you doubt even the most obvious things and worry that your partner is lying to you, or even worse, cheating on you. In such a situation, where your own psychological issues are standing in the way of you having a normal relationship, the only reasonable solution is finding professional help and treatment for your anxiety. However, if the majority of your trust issues appear because you have legitimate reasons to believe that your partner is doing something sketchy and not being honest with you, you should take some actions to prevent your relationship from affecting your health. Let's say you notice that your partner is somehow causing your suspicion by turning their phone off when they go out with friends, or blocking you from seeing their social media profile, or simply hiding their phone every time you enter the room. Such behavior is an example of genuine trust issues and certainly not a figment of your imagination. You can always check whether your suspicions are reasonable by talking to your friends or people that you trust can give you a rational and logical opinion on the matter. If they also find such behavior to be fishy, you should let your partner know how you feel and talk about what's bothering you. A caring and loving partner should find time to listen to you and reassure you, and even be willing to make some changes if their behavior is negatively affecting your relationship. Nevertheless, if your partner becomes irritated and refuses to address your concerns, that should serve as a warning and you should reevaluate your relationship with this person. And sign number 5. You're not happy anymore. Being happy is an essential precondition of any relationship. Are you truly happy in your relationship? Do you enjoy spending time with your partner? Are you emotionally compatible? If the answer to any of these questions is no, or you're not really sure what the answer is, that means there is something wrong and you should reassess your relationship. In normal conditions, you should feel happiness and pleasure with your partner. It seems obvious and anything else would be meaningless. However, many relationships continue to exist even though both partners are depressed and unhappy. Such a situation occurs when people disregard their own happiness and health by holding on to a relationship that's moving in the wrong direction. If you feel there is something missing between you and your partner and you sense that you're putting much more effort into your relationship than the other person, you must focus on resolving your issues before they bog you down. Not addressing the fact that you're unhappy and live in a detached life can lead you to a variety of health issues from anxiety to addiction. Again, the path to resolving this problem is communicating with your partner. Talk openly about your feelings and thoughts and try to find time for honest conversations. Being open with each other will allow you to get familiar with your differences and similarities and potentially work out your issues. If you truly care about each other, you should be able to accept each other's propositions and eventually make some changes in order to maintain your relationship. Working on your issues together can and will improve your bond and bring you closer together. On the other hand, if your conversation shows that some of your issues cannot be fixed, you may come to the conclusion that it's best for both of you to end your relationship. Whatever the outcome may be, your mental and physical health should come first. Remember that it's very important to see these warning signs in your relationship because your well-being depends on it. Enjoy the time you spend with your partner, but keep your happiness in focus and learn which signs to look out for and how to deal with these common relationship issues. We've reached the end of our video and I honestly hope you found some significance and value in it. If that is the case, please take a minute to like this video, subscribe to the channel, 
and click the notification bell for all new videos that are published. Thank you so much for watching, take care and see you next time.